back once again it's been a while on 3d printers for those of us that have filament printers um, you're well aware that moisture is the enemy of the filament I normally take my filament when I'm done I put it in a space bag with uh, it's like a fine knit knit bag uh, it, I fill it full of rice the bag is breathable I put it in with it suck all the air out seems to do a good job if you've got a little moisture in your filament in a week or two it'll pull it out I've seen a few people do this post these videos um, so I thought hey that is a good idea there's actually a company that's getting ready to make one that has a custom made lid and hey you know you do what you do but uh, I went to Walmart today I got this food dehydrator it was like $49 uh, the food dehydrator at Walmart is in the sporting goods section of course because it's deer season so I got that there I got it hung and I picked up uh, this was it's actually a cake holder this is just the lid uh, it was five dollars at Walmart also there's the top of it so you can see what it is tells you the dimensions everything so all I did was pop the little clips off they held the held it to the bottom of the other one and it is a perfect fit to this food dehydrator if you take it over here you set it right down on top and perfect fit all I did was take out all the trays except for the bottom one I just set my filament on top right there and close this up and there's actually enough room in there you really can't tell from here or well, maybe you can you can just see it uh, you can get two spools in there if you want to even the bigger spools like the airwolf takes will fit in there and then I really recommend about 150 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit which just tops out at 160 I got it at 150 now you just flip this on and there you go let it run for I don't know people say different amounts of time I'm gonna let it run for a couple of hours see how it prints after that but uh you got you a cheap dehydrator to uh, take the the uh, moisture out of your filament so if you leave it on your printer for a few days and then it starts printing bad won't stick right this will probably fix your problem then you can throw in a space bag suck the air out when you're done you can also put the trays back in use it to dehydrate food you know so all together you're looking at 55 60 dollars total with tax uh, if it saves you three or four spools of print or a lot of time and grief with your prints it's probably worth it you know if you're doing big prints and you end up with a two or three hour print that goes bad because your filament had moisture in it it's worth it so thought I would just give you all a heads up like I said sporting goods section at Walmart and over or the pots and pans and Tupperware stuff is type stuff both of them are there pick them up take it home pop the little clips off they just pop off you got you a filament dryer I'm gonna take the stickers off I just brought this home today uh, on Thingiverse there's also uh, a set of files you can get the guy's already made a thing you can actually drill a hole and put his piece on here so and a piece to go inside where you saw that big hole underneath the filament so you can put the filament on it and actually feed it straight from the dehydrator so you can leave this running while you're printing and then you know you don't ever have to worry about moisture it's an option i just do this use it and go on all right thank you have a good day